our system of practice is what I think of as classical meaning. We're doing asanas which are defined. So we don't make up asanas. It's not conducted as um, what I would joke of as looking good, feeling great. It's not just about wanting to feel pleasant. It's within a tradition. And that tradition traces back to Patanjali. The tradition or the lineage recognizes a number of factors, one of which is that yoga is a self-study. It's a practice of looking at yourself. And when you look at yourself, it implies that you look at yourself not just critically. The practice is not just you giving yourself a hard time, nor is it about you giving yourself positive affirmations. There is an assumption in what we do that we check our perception. And it's got all sorts of very simple, pragmatic expressions. My legs in a pose, I think my legs are straight. And maybe a teacher comes past me and presses on my shin bone and we both watch my legs straighten more. That's not just about alignment. My mind says, can I trust my mind? So one of the underpinnings of yoga is a recognition that we often tell ourselves stories. And some of the stories we tell ourselves are less than real. The practice recognizes not only do we tell ourselves stories, that sometimes we get caught up in our own drama. And again, the practice aims to clear that. And the way that's done is through this element that we've been looking at the last weeks, the Kriya Yoga. An example that I often use is that we arrive here, it's late in the day, maybe your day has been long, and you might say, I'm tired. And on one level, that's true, you are tired but maybe you're less tired and more dull. Maybe your tiredness or your experience of tiredness is dullness. And so the Kriya Yoga model says, let's investigate. Something is straight or it isn't. I'm too tired or I'm not. I can't do this or I can. These things are really common the story that we tell ourselves, and then the reality of what unfolds. As a system of practice, we are methodical, disciplined. So there are techniques for things. And you could think you're here learning all those techniques. But to me, the techniques that underpin our practice are the means by which we engage, the means by which we study ourselves. And this itself is the Kriya Yoga model. So let's come up, come to kneeling. And when you come to kneeling,